I got you. Yeah, sometimes I would, but I like that shot right now. I see why. And plus, <laughs> I didn't. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Paul Yule right here. Uh, he's throwing a nuke, holes 270 feet. We got Brad Hammock, freaking genius caddy. Paul's ready to rip. Ace. Ace, Paul's. A shot. Thank you. We're throwing at a porta potty. It's a pulse up. Aiming. Par thin. Par four. It used to be a par five back in the day. New Supra, retooled, composite plastic. Let's see how she goes. I guess right here, it's just not marked. And then it's going to be on the left Still side. Still supposed to be out here and put up all the rope and stuff. Is that Do you need a good putter? Get a Penrose MEV7. Watch this. Get one now. From Massachusetts across the country to this the same week to play this as an eight year. I went to a playoff with Johnny McCray. Really? Yeah. What's going on in that? We fixed the fix up. Well, Try to that? save the last year drink. Don't even think about putting my putters anywhere near that. I know, dude, it's fine. Fine for sticky boys, bang grippers. There's no sugar in there. No sugar. I know it looks like I'm a crazy person, and I know I am, but these little tiny things. That you make a, a monster energy drink, drink in my putter pouch. Yeah. Ooh, 
little sneaky guy. I wonder if we throw the slider on the back. Here. Why is your putt so smooth? It's just been smooth lately, I don't know. Worked on it. This is the same. Any more questions? Why is it? Come see me. Yeah, like into the body. Yeah, I know. Floating it in, and I just brought it to the side. I know, that's what I was release. saying. Gives me a little more juice. Hey, by the way, people, there was a time when I was new on tour and I told Paul I was switching my putt from a spin putt to a push putt and I thought Paul was going to crash the car in a ditch. <laughs> Remember that, Paul? I do. I still think you would have been nasty if you kept your spin putt. Throw a spin putt for the camera. <laughs> nah. Glitch? Sure. Money. Buying it in there. Eddie, money. He missed uh, every putt in the circle for two years before he got it dialed. Yeah, then I got it dialed. Okay. Where are we? Birdie? Quit. I like the mantis because it won't get to those trees. Get through and chew it. Oh. Maybe throw a buzz to where I took it. Two suds in it. Two suds. <laughs> Back there to the left. That little stand still buzz for me, huh? I guess maybe it would help if I told him why. Maybe he would stop asking that question. So I don't throw the stand still buzz there because with buzzes, if I don't put yeah, I didn't mean buzz. I misspoke. I misspoke. I mean, maybe Tiger should hit driver off the deck more often. <laughs> If he wants to compete against the driver off the deck key, you get the ass, dude. What's that dude saying? There you go. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, sometimes I would, but I like that shot right now. I see why. And plus, I didn't... Hey. Oh, chain snag. That you want. I mean, you throw a great tee shot. Hopefully, you end up in a spot where you can maneuver. And it's still going to be tricky to get in here. That looks nice, too. Hole six. Paul's going to show us what to do. Hole six, 325. Stable disc on Anheuser. Get it to come super skip left. It's tucked way over there. I think we might be overthinking this. I think it might just be like a straight fairway and then just let it go left. Yeah. Yeah, we overthought the. Well, you want me to go we... down there and look where the biggest window is? And... Well, maybe what if we go high? High spot.
Dude, that's not any good. Well, I just think he's right. I think there's just a bunch of little trees that it doesn't matter. I can go down there. You gotta get lucky. You know, sometimes it's like it might be just... I think y'all are hitting the right window, though, between that one and that first dark one on the right. I just don't think there's a right line. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, I think See, that's what I was thinking. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what so I thought. Around right. that guy. But well, that's they, what I'm saying. You're just there's just yeah. something the next thing to hit. Yeah, but see, we don't know that we're the purest fairways. If I don't know that. Do you need a Penrose? I know that I do. It's definitely not that inside line I thought it was at first. Yeah. That's why you practice. That's Ladies why. and gentlemen, this is a great example of why you practice because when I walked up to the hole, I thought it was this way. Coming up here, it's that way. Sometimes you're wrong. 400 foot, par three, dead straight. Paul's gonna throw a nuke. I'm gonna throw an eagle, oh, vulture. vulture. And looks like you just get it out there and use the ground. <laughs> he was the ground. Oh, wow. He aced it. Short. Oh, my. Pretty good. I'll take that. That's so good. Shot it. Use good. the ground. Thank you. All right, Paul, show us something cool. Cool. That's good. That's pretty cool. Brad, what do you think about this week for Paul? Man, there's no finer woodsman in the game. My boy's trending, and uh, he's won here before, so I feel great about it. Five sixty. You only got a loogie on his hand. I did. I and put it landed in. And the then loogie. I checked for loogie. Got loogie on my hand, so we're double loogie up. <laughs> it's not uh, a good spot. Mando right. I'm just gonna try to rip my arrow straight. Damn. Nice shot. That was as good as I could do. If you go a little more aggressive, is that all the you got? Four, that's all I want to do. It's a beauty, mate. Do you have a finish line disc era? If not, go to infinitedisc.com and get yours today. 80 feet short, 560 foot par four with a fairway driver. Man, I sure love to throw a buzz here. Well, I sure wish I hadn't left it behind. Last time I say it. Until the next hole. Ooh, Daddy 
Wow. Side on. Sneaker gap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I got stomped again. <laughs> Saves par in nine seconds. <laughs> Basically a local. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a football or no? That's local law right there. You're never going to do that. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's gotta be the shot, right? Supra! Supra? Yeah. Supra. Supra, bro. Oh, almost banged it. Supra. It's super good. Super, super. That's why I want sunglasses so I can see me close my eyes when I'm playing. Yeah. Smart. My shoulder feels good. You see my shots, it's not like. Shots are bad, my putt's getting better. Now I just gotta get the missiles, dude. Uh, so Paul is telling me he's missed nine straight caches. Yeah. But he's trending, feeling better. I am. And this is gonna be the week. I'm gonna predict Paul gets 11th place at this tournament. That's all he's given us? 11th? That'd be pretty good, I'll take it. It's the I'll same field as OTB and- he I'll settle out of court with 11th place, thank you. Thank That's you, not sir. bad. Yeah. I got 11th last week and felt like I played pretty good. Yeah. I'm not being mean saying that. No, I know. That's a pretty good spot. Is everyone so good now? 11th is almost top two. I feel like I played literally great golf last week and got 11th. Yeah. 11th is almost like a top five point. Yeah, when Brad played, 11th is winning. You just take the first one off there and you got first. <laughs> Worst shot ever, Bertie. Oh, turn. What a touching shot. Train. I just think if I throw this one hard, it brings that middle thing, you know? Like tighter. Yeah, also like your, I think this and Franklin. That's all, yeah, that's it. Yeah. These shoes sound like I just got out of the pool. <laughs> so you have to be squeaking. You miss Caddy? What do you mean? Huh? No, no, real good. Fuck. No, I'd rather Caddy with Paul than the freaking C tier. This tree. Hey, you're not allowed to 
move any of this stuff. He's breaking your leg. Get, come guy. here, let's uh, count this up. Whoever that came up with that rule should be tied up and beat. I'm not allowed to move any of this. There's four billion marbles on the ground. <laughs> Man, I thought I made it. You love that thing, huh? Oh, look at that itty! Skip off. I love off. it. I love it. I love it a lot. The old one boy, just wasn't as stable. That one's like controllable. The other one's like. You're gonna want to go right over there to that corner so you can get the flight of this going into the hole. <laughs> Okay. What the f- <laughs> oh, hey. oh. oh wait. What do you know? Hey Paul, this is good. Can I do either of these Yeah, the part three where you went back and threw him the heat, he threw the hawk and burned it right. Yeah! I really like this disc. Kind of like a squirrel. <laughs> you throw, you'll hit the first tree, and it'll oh, be shit. You threw my heat back. Uh, is this stable? Oh. Yeah. You guys yeah. leave one? Hey, this mania. Okay. <laughs> so weird there's a bunch of 325s up in this bitch. It's in my hips, man. They're just not working right. Full is 322. It's that part. Then, I, then I'm having the, the I don't decent. need a freaking vlog. Will you throw the damn thing? Damn the Dude, she's waiting to freaking film you. Well, ankle buster built in for free. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what makes it even tougher. I cannot believe how athletic he is for his age. Like, he's probably one of the arguably most athletic people that we know. I know. Like, yeah. if we're all 60 and we played against Brad at 60, we would get smoked. Not even. I don't know about that. No. Dude, I'm going like, to beat Brad at golf. You guys 60. are going to be in better shape than yeah. I am at 60. Oh, no, I'm going to be a fucking really poly, dude. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I know. Dude, I'm I know damaged me. goods. Miles and miles. Broken bones. Car accidents. Pizza Deliver pizzas for 20 years. <laughs> Deliver pizzas for 20 years. Staircases. <laughs> Handstand up them. Here's your pizzas. Carried them with my feet. Don't worry. Have the best shoes here. Can you go roller built in the fridge? Little little Nate Sexton action for you. <laughs> First shot of the day, let's count that in. Oh my god, you are kidding. <laughs> that is a beefcake! I thought I hit that decent anyway. What's funny is when he let it go, I thought, wow, he freaking I thought I pured it. it. I know. The th Your foot shot. Flippy. Straight. Straight. Oh, don't get in the way, Brad. Get your big head out of the way. I tried to do a sneak attack. <laughs> Find it? Why don't you put like that? You're a genius. <laughs> should probably go help Brad find Brad. Get your face. Okay. You got all the other ones? Yeah. I'm going to just putt like Felberg the rest of my life. I went way far. Left. Nice shot. Right down the middle. Yeah, every time. Yeah, that is the most stable beast alive. 
Car for Simcoe. No, we'll be accessible. Oh, exactly. That. That, nice, that's where my nuke's gonna land, you dweeb. Alright, I'll show you I got a little pep in the step lately. What? What disc is that? No, I'm just gonna show you that I got a little power. Okay, again. I'll watch. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, you don't need this big of a run-up. No, I do. Just stop, Brad. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> stop talking, Brad. I got my move dial for my power stroke. Literally. Uh, any questions? No. Yeah, why'd that tree stay there? See? Came out pretty good. It was, it was nice. I heard it. It was nice. Yeah, you heard it. You felt the None power. of this. <laughs> How about okay? It was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. You heard it. It came out, it came out like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of power if I've ever heard it. That's <laughs> how it came out. All right, now for the turning plate. Perfect. You want to be right here. Just Huge favor. I promise. What? Can I fill him one time? Of course. Okay. That hurts. That hurts. Show you board that hurt coming off of my lips. I didn't want to hit a tree with it. I did. <laughs> maybe like a maybe like a mantis throw with the flippy new, you know? Right? Yeah. That thing's so flippy. That was a That's good what shot. I should be throwing right there. I didn't even have to drive your freaking cooter or whatever. Uh, Katuku. Booty. Hey. We are close to Canada. A couple 16 unders for me and Drew. Drew and I. For Drew and I. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Paul's my hero. We're going to play again tomorrow, but we're not going to film it because. Why? We're lazy. We're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Uh, thank right you. here at Cascade Challenge presented by Discraft. Jeff Corns is hosting us here. So, super cool track. Uh, my first time ever seeing it. I like it. It's a different change of pace from normal tour courses we play where you're just ripping it as far as you can every hole. So I'm going to have some fun throwing in the woods this week. Hopefully you guys have fun watching on DGN or Udisc or whatever. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.